much for sticking around. I want to say a very, very happy National Portuguese holiday to all my Portuguese viewers from around the world and the ones that are closest to me right across the border. Yep. Happy National Portugal Day. And I won't try and do that in Portuguese. I've been practicing it, but it just doesn't sound right. So I won't make a mess of it. But to all my Portuguese viewers, all around the world and the ones closest to me right across the border, I wish you a wonderful, wonderful day. If you've made it this far, I also want to say thank you for sticking around because what I was trying to show was the beautiful tiles that I find Portugal is so famous for, especially around fountains and patios, in a courtyard, those blue and white tiles if they are made by hand, they are some of the most beautiful creations when put together nicely. I tried to capture that and hope it wasn't too tedious. I thoroughly enjoyed creating it though, because I walked back many, many years to the times when I was in Portugal. Often, quite often. Anywho, but I have some things I would like to show you apart from my beautiful Lelia Esarquiana, still in pretty, pretty bloom. And I would like to celebrate these two or three little findings with you. Won't take up too much of your time, but while we're here, this is my Dendrobium aurantiflameum, given to me by Melissa Walker, the Orchid Room, and Michael McCarthy. And I have to show you if you can see it. There is something happening right at the base there. Aha! I'm getting a new growth. Very wobbly, I know. The closer you get to something, the wobblier it gets, I'm sorry. There it is, new growth. Very pleased to see that. It does deserve a better pot though, doesn't it? I'm working on that. There's something else I wanted to show you, if we can just go up very, very carefully and slowly, and I'm sorry for any noise pollution in the background. My Dendrobium anosmum buds have opened. First time I've ever let this orchid bloom. I don't see any stress on her, but I just wanted to celebrate today with some anosmum blooms, which are first time in my collection. Nothing really to write home about. The spectacle should be 10 times this, but for now, this is what I have. And I hope that the orchid will start to get stronger and stronger so that maybe one day she will give me 30 of these on a single cane. So far, I have no fragrance at all, but they are very, very pretty. And you know, these two candidates right here, the Unicum and the Dendrobium Victoria Regina. Just one little look at them before they are history for the season. I just love these two colors together. But there's something else I wanted to show you, and now I have to remember which way to turn without bumping anything behind me. This strapping beauty of spilling over foliage nonsense here is my Epidendrum Parkinsonianum, which I did not think was going to bloom this year. But it goes all the way down here. And I'm sure that you saw it on our way down, but look at this. We are going to at least have two Epidendrum Parkinsonianum blooms. I am so pleased with this, and for me, this is reason to celebrate and I wanted to show you on Portugal's national holiday. They're starting to progress and form quite nicely. Yeah, the reason I didn't think it was going to bloom because she is so late. Last year she was already in full bloom. So I thought, okay, we'll skip a year, but wait, there's more. Ta-la! Right under that sheath there, protecting another bud maybe two. I don't want to peel that back. There's a reason it is there and I'm trying to make sure that it maintains the bud safely for me. But yeah, celebration time. I'm going to have Epidendrum Parkinsonianum blooms. I'm really, really excited about that. Just when I thought it wasn't going to happen. Because these blooms are gorgeous, super fragrant and ever so long lasting. So thank you very much. I appreciate your time. I appreciate you watching my video. And I wish, you see all my ants here? We can disturb them. 
And from my Renanthera citrina, once again, a very, very happy national holiday to Portugal. Stay safe. Enjoy all the goodies that you have planned for today. I would go with grilled sardines. I'm just that kind of a person on the beach. Some grilled sardines and a nice crisp green salad with a little bit of fresh onions, tomatoes, and some Maldon salt on them. And that's it. I appreciate your time, everybody. Take care. Bye. Yeah!